Hello everybody, this is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. Follow all of my social media and also check out my merch which will be in the description down below. This has been a very long and awaited video. The reason why is I wanted to wait until I got my continuation aligners here before I made another video about my aligners so I had enough stuff to talk about. Okay, so right now I am currently on week 15 and I'm about to switch my bottom aligners to week 16. Apparently I am done with my top teeth. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I have three more aligners for my bottom teeth and I do plan on maybe getting another impression kit and fixing up my top teeth a little bit more because I am not 100% pleased with them. I think what we should start off with first is I should switch my aligners and I can talk to you a little bit about how everything is going while I do that. So first I'm going to show you how my teeth look like without them because I'm not going to lie, my teeth look fire with them in. They look great and also like I'm going to be putting in before and after pictures. I took a bunch so I will somewhere put those in. So this is what they look like without the aligners in. I'd say my only complaints thus far of what I still want fixed with my teeth is I'm gonna kind of just focus on my top teeth because we're still working on my bottom teeth, you know? This tooth still sticks out a little bit nowhere near as bad as it did in the beginning. If you go to my first video, I know you'll see a huge difference. I actually just watched it a couple days ago and I was like, holy shit, um, my teeth are really a lot better. Yeah, same with just these two teeth. I wish they were a little bit more pushed back. They can't lower them. I know that you kind of have to go to Invisalign if you want your teeth pulled down a little more. I'm fine with that. I can live with that. Other things I noticed is my bite is pretty good on this side. My teeth come together on this side, not so much, which they claim that your bite should be completely like aligned by the time you're finished. So we'll see because I still have a couple more aligners on my bottom teeth. So I'm gonna put the ones back in for my top teeth because these are my final ones, my week 15s. I got some more here. I kind of already opened it because I was looking at it um, a couple days ago because this just came in three days ago. Um, I wear my aligners now. If you look at my previous videos, if you're already watching this one and you haven't seen my past ones, please watch those first because I don't want to repeat myself a lot. But I do wear my aligners for 10 days and I use my Hyperbite six times a day, not just one time a day. So I just do it all at once. Just sit down for 30 minutes, do chores, do homework and press that six times. So something I have to say about these bottom aligners is I have to do some modifications to them because there was one time I put on my bottom aligners and they made in between my teeth right there, my gums black because, and I noticed it right away. It was only for five minutes and then I quickly took them off because it was applying so much pressure to my gums that it was cutting off the circulation. And I reached out to them and I was like, hey, what's going on and um i already did what they pretty much told me to do but i have to cut a piece of the aligner off and file it so it doesn't do that <laughs> because you know if you're not going in person it's not really like you, you're not going to be too sure of how it's going to turn out for your gums i mean you know you can't like you need to go to an actual orthodontist for that so i use a cuticle trimmer no this isn't a cuticle trimmer i'm so sorry this is a sideways nail trimmer it just makes it a little easier and i use an actual nail file because the file they give you is really weak and you're going to be sitting there for a long time trying to file using that. So what I do is it's just the front here. I cut off a little bit of that plastic because if I don't, it presses on my gums because if you see, you can't see this on camera, but it, the liners kind of curve in a little bit. I don't know why they made it like that. That is out of my jurisdiction. So I literally take, I'd say about two millimeters off and that's just enough to make sure like it's not screwing with my gums. And it's going to be a little piece of plastic just like that yeah about two or three millimeters of plastic and then it's gonna be all jagged right here because i just cut it so i'm gonna take an actual nail file and file this until it's all nice and smooth and i've had to do this for the past five or six aligners so i'm pretty used to doing this now make sure it's all smooth no harsh edges and then we're gonna pop this in week 16 so whenever I get those on, I usually take 
my hyperbite i don't turn it on like i've said in previous videos i just kind of bite on it and make sure everything is secured on my teeth so i will leave these on for 10 days before i put on my next week so i have a couple of things i want to say bite i'm not too sure as i go on it's definitely working but it also is kind of like a little willy-nilly like how my gums were like really like turning black when i was putting on their aligners i'm like guys like why is the aligner going down so far that it's pricing on my gums like that like aren't you guys orthodontists here's the thing <laughs> you are going to want to check with your dentist like high key before you do anything like this because you want absolutely no gum problems if you have already receding gums or already gum problems that could have screwed you up and if you did not pick up on that that would have really done you wrong i'm gonna stick with them because you know i was just kind of like testing it out and my teeth health overall is okay i do have very sensitive teeth and and wearing these aligners has also made my um, wisdom teeth start to come through. I don't know if it's just because of straightening up my teeth and kind of putting them into position where my wisdom teeth are like, yes, but I'm getting my wisdom teeth out very soon. Um, but it has to be after I finish all these sets or else my bite for life guarantee is no longer there, which I was kind of like, huh? Like I just have to get my wisdom teeth out. Like, so yeah, that is something that was a little annoying. <laughs> after I get my wisdom teeth out and I um, am like chilling at my final size for a while, um, cause I'm probably gonna have to wear that for a little longer since I'm gonna have to keep my aligners out when I get my wisdom teeth out. I am gonna ask for a refinement um, impression kit, whatever, you know, get more impressions and try to do some more time with it because um, I know that's what most people do and usually they get their desired outcome after that. So again, it's not necessarily a bad review for Bite, but you have to really be the right person to get it, you know? Do not do it if you have any sort of gum problem problems like any sort of gum problems okay like listen to me on this one <laughs> because that was really scary what happened with my gums and thank god i already didn't have any problems with them because I, that would have just been it but if your teeth are in good health and you have just minor crookedness i would you know definitely give it a try if you have teeth that are super high up and you want them to get pulled down bite's not going to do that for you it didn't do it for me but thankfully that's not something i'm really worried about i'm more so worried about them just kind of like pointing out i want them to be kind of pushed back a little bit in, in line with my teeth um but yeah if you have like you know teeth that aren't really fully coming down that's gonna be invisalign they put the buttons on your teeth so it can pull down um i think that's all i can say though yeah i'm pleased with my teeth as it is it's way better than they were i was very self-conscious about my teeth i do notice myself smiling a lot more <laughs> with my liners on i think what i'm gonna do for my before and after pictures is i'll just put them in at like random times when i'm talking so you guys can kind of see them maybe i'm trying to figure out how i'm gonna do that or maybe i'll just like stick it in at the end of the video we'll do that um i'm trying to think of any other concerning problems i have with bite i did have a lot of air gaps in my aligner sometimes um they told me to just keep using my hyper bite it was more so because they were like trying to bring my teeth down even though they know my teeth won't come down with just having aligners on i would need like buttons or actual braces put on my teeth so now i always have air gaps under these two teeth but like <laughs> they keep telling me like we'll leave your aligners on i'm like no my aligners are loose like my teeth fit in the aligners but my teeth aren't gonna move down you guys don't have that like you can't do that I hope you know that so they're just kind of confusing you know what I mean um but like I said it was just all learning experience um and I'm kind of testing it out for you guys <laughs> and yeah so I, I so far give them a seven out of ten six or seven out of ten if you guys really are like have screwed up teeth just get braces or just get Invisalign like I said, if you have minor crookedness, bite might be the one for you. Nice cheap option. I already paid off everything and apparently refinements are free so that's good but yeah that's my full bite video 15 week update i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was helpful sorry i was kind of all over the place there's just kind of like a bunch of little things i wanted to make sure i covered but i feel like i did cover everything um their customer service is pretty good it can be a little confusing at times though because it's just like guys i'm doing what you're telling me to do and nothing is changing um that's why i think i might get refinements and tell them like hey i'm not worried about pulling these teeth down i just want them like pushed back a little bit so like that's why i keep having air gaps can we just do some refinements and make that stop happening thank you very much
all right that's it i'll see you guys next week with another video um make sure to like this if you enjoyed it subscribe comment whatever you know all that other stuff leave suggestions for other things you want if you have any questions at all i'll reply to any comments down below i think that's it i'm now gonna put in all of the fun pictures before and after pictures which are pretty good i'll give them that much so yeah bye guys i'll see you next week <laughs>